What up, Crypto Warriors? It's Dr. Crypto back at it again. Today is Monday, August 3rd, 2020. Paper money is going away. If you are watching this video, then you probably do think that paper money is going away, and you definitely, definitely agree with Elon Musk on the fact that paper money is going away. And with this whole situation of 2020 and COVID, we saw that one of the culprit for spreading the disease, or as it was said to us, was the fact that people were using paper money. And we, you know, there were video videos coming out from China of people burning money, burning currency because of the they were afraid of COVID uh, spreading. If you like what I'm the type of videos that I make on this channel, please smash the like, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. If you're not new around here, thank you for coming back. But again, smash that like, hit that subscribe, and share the video. Let's get into it. Speaking about money, why Ethereum has value and opportunity in programmable money and DeFi. And many who are new to crypto assume that there will only be one important crypto asset in the long run and that the challenge as an investor is to pick the best run. I disagree. I disagree also. Why? Because the different crypto assets and their associated blockchains are focused on different use cases. To use an analogy, both Microsoft and Salesforce are soft software companies, but they are tracking or tackling different markets. One winning does not preclude the other one from also winning similarly uber and instagram are both apps but again have different features and use cases and thus both can win the same is true in crypto this is coming from forbes and you got to remember who or who is the typ typical uh, person that reads uh, forbes magazine and who they cater to the rise of programmable money one of crypto's key fundamental break breakthroughs that's the thing about ethereum was the fact that you could program quote unquote smart contracts in the co code of the protocol and that's why we had that ico boom that popped off back in 2016 2017 and led to the bull run the fact that there is programmable money and that's what this whole section is going over Ethereum's explosive recent growth, stable coins, lending efforts surged into billions. And as you know, from the beginning of this year, in 2020, the whole DeFi thing started popping and millions, if not billions, were made using programmable money and DeFi protocols. Stable coins. We already know what a stable coin is. It's just a USD back, in most cases, USD back uh, coin. And we, it, it, the tool that they're covering here is tether and usdc and the fact that there's eight billion dollars between the two of them they're, they're the most important and then lending lending on these DeFi protocols you know from yield farming has been making tons and tons and tons of cash for people that took the risk and started using those protocols all right launch earlier this year compound is one of the DeFi protocols you're talking about has amassed almost seven hundred million dollars in assets. Competing protocols have also amassed significant assets, as shown in the chart below. In total, these platforms today control more than two billion dollars. This was written back on July thirteenth, so only a few weeks ago, and now that two billion has doubled to over four billion dollars. Are locked is locked up on. DeFi protocols. How sustainable is DeFi and how much can it grow? When you're talking about DeFi and what they're they're trying to tackle, it's a lot of room to grow. As a nascent technology development, decentralized finance, of course, comes with a fair amount of risk, a limited track record, and difficulty of use. Just like Bitcoin is not guaranteed to become digital gold, Ethereum is by no means guaranteed to find a large market for digital financial contracts so he's giving you his warning right there dyor do your own re research before you go throwing in your life savings or mortgage a house <laughs> to bet on one of these uh, DeFi protocols ether's market cap today is a fraction around 10 percent of just the fines that the u.s banks paid since the 2008 global financial crisis think about that not even a full temper 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 i don't know why i'm stuttering i'm so super excited <laughs> <laughs> but not even 10% is what's found as far as the fees that the banks paid for ruining the world, for taking the world into a global recession. That's what Ethereum is worth today. Only 10% or not even a full 10% of the fees that they paid. So the upside is ridiculous. If Ethereum becomes the base layer for a new 
and alternative financial service system, the upside is tremendous. Despite all the fintech companies and bank banking apps that have emerged in the past few decades, much of the financial service services community remains notably tech backward and high fee. Estimates suggest that 80% of all financial transactions are still processed on COBOL, a programming language developed in 1959 when most programmers were still using punch cards. This is the antiquated system that still exists today in the financial world. They're still using program a program from 1959. It's because they had a monopoly on the financial system. Banks had a monopoly. They, they had no need to change. But with that invention of Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we're talking about Ethereum right now, they, they jump, they're jumping through hoops basically to try to get things done. You know, integrating crypto into their systems and, 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 try, and trying to upgrade as, as fast and as soon as possible because if they don't, then they'll get be extinct like the dodo bird. And that's why we think Ethereum and the programmable money category in general is worth paying attention to it. Yeah, pay attention to it. And again, don't just uh, invest your life savings in it. Do you DYOR and, you know, just play around with, with these different protocols to see which one might work best for you and your situation and then take a risk not financial advice of course it's also why it's performed so well in 2020 as the concept begins to gain traction and at, as a good segue into the next article because it has gained a lot of traction we have coming out of trust nodes uniswap overtakes gemini bitrex poloniex in trade in trading volumes so we have uniswap an ethereum based decentralized exchange has handled more in trading volumes than gemini and poloniex combined we have over 108 million dollars in trading volume in the past 24 hours double that of many prominent and long established traditional exchanges poloniex only did 56 million dollars in the last 24 hours gemini 46 and bitrex 71 million think about that we just had this thing just pretty much just launched and it's already doing more than two of them combined that's saying a lot and decentralized exchange exchanges is basically the wave it's the new wave and it's going to be the future we, we see that binance have their own decks because they know that decentralized exchanges is the wave of the future next bitcoin hits 100k on binance futures charts while bitcoin was trading at 12 12k in the spot market in the morning B binance futures platform binance futures created a candle wick that extended to 100k according to the statement binance i'm sorry according to the statement made by binance a single user entered a large number of orders in a very short time in btc usd um 0925 quarterly contract at 748 and this created a large candle wick up to 99,964 dollars is that person predicted the the price to come or was it really an accident binance is saying that it was an accident and they corrected it however it's i think something that we should be excited about because it did hit 100k right bitcoin did hit 100k albeit briefly and by accident <laughs> but it did happen and yeah we will see we will see how much more room there is to grow for bitcoin yes um i don't know much about the, the future trading contracts and because you know i'm not a trader i dollar cost average into bitcoin and every now and then i play around with one of these DeFi apps or whatever the case is but to see that bitcoin did hit 100k on binance yes that's freaking awesome in my book let's talk about it in the comment section below smash that like hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and for watching. It's Ultra Crypto, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>